Welcome back to The Magic in the Music. I'm Jen. We've had some very, very exciting developments lately around the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And today I'm going to get you up to speed with all of the changes. Before I do, I would really appreciate it if you could support our channel by hitting that like button or subscribing if you haven't already. Better yet, leave a comment in response to this video. It's quick and it's easy and puts our video out to more viewers to see. It's the easiest way to say thank you back to us for bringing you valuable content and it's free. But you came here for updates about Grand Floridian Villas, so let's get right to it. First of all, most DVC members have heard about the upcoming expansion to the Grand Floridian in which the Big Pine Key building will be renovated and turned into DVC rooms. We learned this fall that the expansion will add 200 units of a new room type called Resort Studios. These studios will apparently not have kitchenettes, but will have a beverage station instead, whatever that is. We got some concept art for these rooms and it shows that they will have two queen size beds and a day bed. These two queen beds are a very welcome change for many DVC owners. I know that for those of us who travel with younger kids, we usually don't mind having the fold out beds, but if you travel with parties of three or more adults, having that second real bed is a huge, huge plus. We recently got some more news about this new Grand Floridian expansion with the release of the new Grand Floridian 2023 points chart. Upon closer examination, we can see that there are going to be three different booking categories for these resort studios, standard view, lake view, and theme park view. The standard view category ranges from a low of 16 points per night to a high of 37 points per night. The lake view category ranges from 19 to 44 points per night, and the theme park view ranges from 24 to a whopping 54 points per night. A night in a studio for 54 points? <laughs> wow. So yes, that is spring break and Christmas, but that's still a lot for a studio. That had better be some theme park view. It's also worth noting that the points for these new resort studios are identical to the existing Grand Floridian Deluxe Studio Villas for the same categories, Standard View and Lake View. The only difference is that this new expansion has the more costly theme park view category. The new point chart includes the following statement. The new resort studio accommodations will be available for booking in spring of 2022. So look out for more updates on these soon. Are you considering buying points at this new Grand Floridian expansion? Tell us in the comments below if you're feeling tempted by these new resort studios or maybe you're holding out for the Disneyland Tower. Let us know. Finally, the big, big news. The first guests are getting to stay in the newly refurbished rooms at the villas at Grand Floridian. We were so excited to get a glimpse of these rooms. DVC member Bob Dickens graciously allowed us to use his photos of the beautifully refurbished one bedroom that he recently stayed in at Grand Floridian Villas. Let's take a look at some of the changes. First, we'll take a look at the original seating area. Here you can see that the banquette and seat cushions have been reupholstered. The table and chairs appear to be the same as does the light fixture overhead. Otherwise, the kitchen appears to be unchanged. So really just some minor changes in terms of the upholstery. I do like the new look on these, kind of a green colored uh, upholstery on the chairs and the banquette. Moving into the living room, here's the original design. Here is the concept art and we can see some big and very exciting changes. First of all, they've taken out a lot of the darker wood in favor of a fresher look with more white and the furniture is in a muted green. We could see in the original concept art that they had intended to add the fold down queen beds and as they have at Saratoga Springs, Polynesian, and in the new build at Riviera, we can see here in the real life photos that yes, they did in fact add the fold down queen bed. 
This is a game changer, seriously. We might actually book these one bedrooms now if we can get them at the seven month mark, that is. Next, let's check out the art on the inside of this fold down bed. The new art shows the nursery from Mary Poppins Returns. The children are dreaming about the Royal Dalton Bowl scene, which features the song, A Cover Is Not The Book. Actually a pretty appropriate sentiment for a couch that turns into a bed. Kind of makes sense to me. You can see Mary, Jack, and the children entering the tent for the show, which of course they quickly become a part of themselves. There's also a hidden, okay, like not so hidden Mickey on the wall. I love how color was used in this piece to separate the real world with its muted colors from the dream world with its bright pinks, turquoise, gold, and green. This piece ties in beautifully with the new area rug in this room. They've also changed the curtains and removed the bench and the ottoman, which frankly was pretty bulky and never really felt like it quite fit in the room to me. This is a huge upgrade in terms of function and flexibility for these one bedroom and two bedroom villas because we have to assume this will also be in the living area of the two bedroom villa. I am so excited about these pull down beds. This is such an upgrade for DVC. Let's move on to the bedroom. Here's the original bedroom, which quite frankly was pretty nice to begin with. And here is the updated bedroom look. You can see that there are not too many changes here, mainly the headboard and new curtains. Here's a look at the pattern of the new curtains in the bedroom. Wait, hold, hold on. Replacing perfectly good curtains when they have plenty of wear left in them. I'm sure I could figure out something to do with those curtains. Hmm. The carpet in this room has also been changed. Here's a look at the new pattern. Nothing too notable. Just a nice pattern that matches the new room. Well, I don't really see any changes in the bathroom except for one unseen change. It is being reported that the in-mirror TVs are gone. Yes, that totally pointless but still really cool feature is apparently gone. I have to admit that I'm not really surprised because when we stayed at Grand Floridian this past summer, our in-mirror TV never worked. Well, okay, you could turn it on, but it wouldn't hold the signal reliably. It just kept saying no signal after a few seconds. I suspect that that lack of reliability was probably an issue for these, so they're being removed. It's a bummer because I kind of like the idea of the TV in the mirror, but if they don't really work, I understand. So my understanding is that those mirrors are being replaced to cover up where the TV would have been. The renovations are even continuing into the hallway with new carpet, which echoes the watercolor feel of the new carpet in the living room. So this work is currently underway on the fourth and fifth floors with the sixth floor apparently completed. So if you'd like to get one of these renovated rooms on your next stay, I would suggest requesting a higher floor next time you stay at the villas at the Grand Floridian. All in all, these upgrades are definitely an improvement in my opinion. The original design always felt like something that my grandmother would have chosen. Now I can safely say that the new design is something that, well, my mother would have chosen. Okay, well that's a whole generation newer, right? I get it. I'm not exactly the target audience for the Grand Floridian anyway. I don't have to be madly in love with it. Even so, I think it's a beautiful, elegant, and relaxing resort. And these are very welcome changes and I will absolutely stay in these rooms. I just can't wait to see it in person. Be sure to tell us in the comments what you think about these changes to the Grand Floridian Villas. Comments are a huge help to our channel. If you want to see more DVC refurbishments, be sure to check out this video with a preview of the changes in the Polynesian Villas Soft Goods Refurb. We also have a great DVC playlist right here with all kinds of info to help you get the most out of your Disney Vacation Club membership. Thanks so much for joining us today. Bye everybody!